Aloha folks, for Green Garden Guy, 2020 has been the year of the mushroom. <laughs> I've been working on watching fungus spread most of this year with mixed results. You know, gardening is one thing, mushrooms are another. In a, in a way, they're a little bit more like a laboratory experiment than they are like gardening. Um, they have very specific requirements. But right here in front of me, I have one of the you know, relative successes. Uh, this is shiitake. Uh, shiitake is a mushroom that prefers to grow on oak wood. Well, we don't have oak wood here in Hawaii, so that creates a problem. I have tried a number of different local hardwoods. Um, so far, mixed results, not much anything good. Finally gave up trying that and I went ahead and I purchased myself some smoker pellets made out of oak from Amazon and come looking just like that right there and uh, so all we do with these things is I put them into a, a, a five gallon pail I boiled water I poured the boiling water over the top of the pellets it pretty well sterilizes them swells them up makes them come apart into oak sawdust um, then I took that and I packed it into these grow bags. This is a mushroom grow bag. It has this vent patch on it here to let the gases out. Plus the top is not real tight. I just have it sort of taped over there. Uh, so let out all the gas that the mushroom produces as it's growing. Then I took shiitake mushroom spawn that came from uh, Field and Forest Products, Peshtigo, Wisconsin. Good company. I highly recommend them. And I took it and I spawned it into the sawdust inside the bag, closed them up, put them over here in the closet in the carport. Uh, although I did reduce the water in the sawdust down to what we call field moisture. In other words, I let it drip out until just one drop could be squeezed out. If it's too wet, the mushrooms won't grow. If it's too dry, they won't grow. So field moisture, one drop when you squeeze it is the right amount. Um, I just placed it in the bag. I took my spawn. I broke up pieces of it. I put several of them in this bag and I got another half a dozen of them back here where I spread out one five pound block of spawn into about 30 pounds of spawn. Um, and now this one had started to fruit inside the bag. I had not expected that to happen, but it's going so I just let it go. Uh, it looks pretty good. Here, let's get a close up on these See right there, you can see some popping right out of the side, pushing the bag away. Over here we got a nice big one, almost ready to eat. A couple small ones popping out over there. Now this had really not quite gone according to plan. What I had intended to do was once this got ready, I was going to cut holes in the sides of the bag and allow the mushrooms to grow through the bag. Um, they got started before I started cutting holes, so I, I just went ahead and said, okay, you guys go ahead, fruit inside the bag, I will open and pull them out. We'll see how that works out. I don't know. This, again, this is all still 101 for me. I'm learning the process. But I, I do think that the shiitake is a pretty good choice. My biggest problem I've had with it here is trying to spawn it on other types of wood. Uh, it hasn't been real happy about that. Right here is a koa log um, that Ellen spawned during a class on mushrooms up in Volcano. Um, I looked at it when she brought it home and I said, no, nah, this log already had an infection in it, so it had already been invaded, and sure enough, um, none of the shiitake took. Um, all of it died, and we have uh, probably turkey tail starting on this thing. Same thing over here. Um, and these are actually pushing turkey tails, and so I don't know whether this was you know, an infection that got in there, or whether the spawn itself was contaminated and bad. Yeah, now I'd been experimenting with trying to grow oyster mushrooms out here in uh, chips, uh, in situ, right in the landscape, by spawning them and covering them with cardboard. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. We ended up with an invader. I, I don't even know what this fungus is. I think it's probably another form of Stroparia. Anyway, whatever the thing is, it isn't what I put in here. It doesn't smell good, and I don't want to eat it. So, 
trying to spawn into chip piles out in the yard with oysters has failed. Over here I have wine caps spawned under the uh, dragon fruits in uh, sawdust. Now this has worked in the past and I've gotten uh, multiple fruitings actually to come up out of this. I freshed it up this year with uh, new sawdust and new spawn. We'll, we'll see how it works out. I'm anticipating they should be coming up uh, during this next month. Yeah. Here's a mushroom I think that moved over here from Joe's house uh, in some of the chips. Um, not one of the good ones, but see, they pop up on their own once fall gets here for sure. Well, so anyway, for now, um, since this seems to be working as well as anything else I've done here with these mushrooms, I do believe I'm going to continue um, spawning shiitake inside of grow bags on, uh, on oak pellets. The oak pellets are pretty cheap. Um, and so it's well worthwhile. Shiitake mushroom fresh ones are expensive here in Hawaii, so this is real nice. Um, it's also real nice just to have mushrooms out there in my garden. I love this whole idea. Uh, we're getting almost big enough here. I may have a harvest to make. Uh, I'm going to have to come up with something to eat a shiitake in. Uh, yes, sir. There you go, folks. Eh, the good, bad, and the ugly of the mushrooms. Great year for fungus to spread. Anglos.